Welcome to this track guide for the Hockenheim Grand Prix circuit in the fixed setup of Formula 3 car. So we're obviously early on the throttle out of the final corner. As we cross the start line, we want to be all the way to the left and we're going to just nibble the entry kerb on the left. It's a tiny dab of the brakes just to get the nose in and then immediately to full throttle as we exit turn one. Now it's particularly important to get the car really slowed and to make the apex of turn two here all the way down to second gear. And I'm slightly wide of the apex there. You'll see on the following lap why it's better to be even tighter. But the moment you've managed to get the nose turned in, it's full throttle, even if that means running slightly deep on the exit. And it's very obviously full throttle all the way down this long, slightly curved straight, just picking the shortest possible line and using as little steering angle as possible. At about the 100 meter board, we slam the brakes on all the way down to first gear for the hairpin and just kissing the apex. You can be slightly wider, you can be slightly tighter than that. And as long as you've got it slowed and rotated, it won't make too much difference. Then through this next right-hander, easily flat out again and we're just looking for the braking point on the right hand side for this tight left hander down to second gear for this one kissing the curb on the inside immediately to full throttle and I actually gave away some time there I could have been on the throttle earlier easily flat out through this right hander and then it's not quite flat out through the next right hander you're going to see me just brush the brakes but stay in fifth gear we get close to the curb on the inside and you see I was really early on the throttle just as we meet the inside curb down to second gear for this slightly banked left hander and very early on the throttle again. See, it's quite easy to get on the power early in these cars as long as the car is facing in the right direction. Just down one gear for the penultimate corner and then we stay in that same gear for the final corner very, very early on the throttle and using all the track on the exit. Although if you go even wider than that, the curb will really take you off the track. So this is a slightly better entry to turn one on this lap. You see, I just touched that curb on the inside and we're just a few hundredths quicker. And I will stop this lap after the next corner, but I just wanted to show you how it's much better to be even tighter to the inside curb here, because that allows you to get on the power really early in this next section. So that's the first lap. We're now going to look at it in a little bit more detail from the replay view. So obviously, as you cross the start line, you're just all the way to the left. But I want to point out the turning point. So just by this 50 meter board here, that's where we're lifting off the throttle and brushing the brakes. And you can see at the apex, we're already back on the throttle, full throttle there on the telemetry. Now the next corner, it's not perfect, but it's okay. It's still my fastest lap of the session up to this point. We're braking in the middle of this access road, and we're trailing the brakes all the way down to second gear. And you can see on the telemetry there, we're trailing up to the apex. I slightly missed the apex, but again, if you look at the telemetry, once we start getting on the throttle, we're all the way to full throttle. We never come back off. The most we'll do is hold the throttle in a certain position we're never trying to come back off the throttle again once we've committed to it and that's because these cars aren't that powerful braking point for the next corner just after the 100 meter board there you see we just passed the 100 meter board we're going all the way down to first gear i'm actually going to show you why i wasn't perfect here my minimum speed is here 57k after the apex ideally you want your minimum speed to be at the apex there but again once we're getting on the throttle there's no wheel spin we're going all the way to full throttle pretty quickly nice easy line through here and again, in the middle of this access road on the right-hand side, that's where we're starting to brake, and we're braking hard, all the way down to second gear. Important to be facing out of the corner at the apex, because that means we're full throttle again. On the telemetry, you can see we're increasing the throttle all the time, and as we know, it's full throttle through that fast right-hander there. The next right is a little bit of judgment where to turn in. There's not really a marker point, but just note that you're only off the throttle briefly before you start squeezing the power again by the mid-corner point. We're braking just before the change in tarmac for this banked left-hander. And again, if you look at the telemetry, we start to increase the throttle and then all the way to full throttle. So we're never having to get on and then back off the gas at any point. Full throttle through those first couple of S's and then we lift briefly, just dragging the brakes to keep the nose in to that apex on the right. Then full throttle, a lift for the briefest moment before we get back on the power and then we stay on the gas until we get to the finish line. So that's my track guide for the Formula 3 car with the fixed setup at Hockenheim Grand Prix. Good luck this week and let me know in the comments if you've got any suggestions for the next video.